What's up, big time gang? Another battery change. This one is a Fossil Architect. This is model FS-3011-120311. Let's see what we got here. So uh, this is uh, my buddy Ben's watch. Did one of his dress watches. And um, I'm lucky to have friends that trust me to uh, work on their watches. And so um, he gave me this one and, an and another one, uh, Belova. Very similar looking to this piece to uh, switch the batteries on. So now I get to share it with you guys. Uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed and you like what I'm doing, please do it. Um, I know a lot of us are Invicta lovers. My channel is, my collection is mainly all Invicta, but uh, whatever work I get, like this one here, I'm gonna put it on the channel because it may help somebody and I'm all about watches. So if this helps you, that's what it's here for. If you're shopping for a watch, make sure to check out Georgia Mountain Watches. Link will be in the description. MS bead bracelets. Mention Tommy Big Time, get a buy one, get one free offer. Link in the description. So it was a different day. I got the case open and I realized I didn't have the battery. So uh, now I've got the battery and we're going to finish this uh, battery change. So it was a SR616SW. And I bought Max L because that's the only battery I could find in that brand. And that's actually what was originally in this watch was a Max L as well. So it works out. So all I did was pop the case back off. I didn't have to take the plastic off. Um, got right into it. Popped the battery out. And the reason that the watch is apart and I took uh, one of the pins out of the link was to get to the case back because this one doesn't have a micro adjustment. So uh, normally I take the micro adjustment pin out and open the bracelet that way. This one didn't have it, so I just took a pin out of the link to give me full access to the back. Now, as I've mentioned before, I don't like doing a snack back case backs. I do not enjoy them at all. They're not too hard to get off most of the time, but they're sometimes a pain in the butt. And I have a press, but it only does round dial or round case watches. So a square one like this, if I couldn't snap it on, which as you can see, I got it. But if I couldn't do it with my hand strength, I basically can't do it. So it's a little bit of a risk for me, but uh, I got it. Now we're putting the bracelet back together. And uh, this watch, this Fossil Architect does not have a, a second hand. So um, I cannot show you the ticking because uh, it doesn't have a second hand to show you that it's ticking. And that was my daughter. I did, we had just got back from the store and I uh, bought her a Num Num toy and she had to show the camera and put it on the, the table. Gotta love kids. So anyway, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but the watch is all back together. Oh, I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my punch to uh, push the pin a little deeper into the bracelet. I don't feel comfortable giving you your watch back and the pin is right at the, the edge where the hammer hits it. <clears throat> I like to give it a little extra knock in so that it's nice and tight and secure. So that's what I did there. Very good looking piece. Now you see, I go and I set the time, but you can't tell that it's working. So what I'm gonna do is just check back maybe tomorrow and uh, make sure that it's actually moved in time. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, share with your friends. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, subscribe to Trap Vision 3D, another Invicta YouTuber. And as always, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this video, and God bless.